Another signing day has come and gone, and the Reavers here catching yet another Graphic Edge Bowl win. We're, we're all over, you know, all over the obviously the state and then the bordering states and in Georgia and Florida. And, um, you know, really what we try to do is try to find the right fits. Starting with the home state of Iowa, Big Blue reels in Josh Simmons, a six foot, 200 pound all state receiver from nearby Lewis Central. We always want to try to keep the Council Bluffs kids here. I think he fits what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, he's going to be, you know, a, a kid that we're expecting to come in and play you know, in the state at wide receiver. The kids in Iowa get a lot of recruiting action, you know, and there are not a lot of junior college um, kids as far as academically, so they got options. Um, you know, you start Jason Murray, uh, was a part of a Dowling team. You know, I think he played on three straight state championships and as a running back and um, who's really, really talented. Um, you know, Dontrell Womax out of Davenport Central, who is a really talented running back linebacker. Uh, who we're projecting as a linebacker is going to do good things. Uh, Keegan Simmons was on the Prairie team that won the state championship um, as well that I think is really good. And speaking of really good, the number one O-lineman in Nebraska, according to one recruiting website, Makai Butler from Omaha North is headed to Reaver country. I have a lot of respect for Larry Martin and what he does at Omaha North and, and uh, so we have a good relationship there. And, um, he knows what we're looking for and, and knows how we treat our kids and, and help them get to the next level. And you know, Again, you come from a disciplined program. Um, they're tough, they're physical, uh, they can be coached hard. And um, so anytime we can get kids like that, I think are, are a benefit. The neat thing is, is Treasure Coast area in Florida, um, there's a newspaper writer down there that's at Iowa Western cleaned house in the Treasure Coast with, you know, we got three kids out of there. I think it was one fourth of the all area team that we signed on defense was is coming to Iowa Western, and then we signed two really good players out of Illinois. You know, um, you know, with Kobe Rios as an offensive lineman who had, was committed to an FCS school and decided he wanted to go the junior college route, and then a defensive lineman Isaiah Coe um, out of out of Illinois as well who had a lot of in interest. There's talented kids across the country, and, and every any, any coach is going to say they're really excited about their class. Um, but what I think we've done a really good job of is try to get, um, you know, more information about the kid and what type of kid he is, and you know how competitive he is, you know how hard he's going to work. Is he going to do what we're asking him to do, or, we, or do we always got to have a thumb on him? And, and we're just trying to get the right fits now with the program where the state of our program is. One, the program sells itself as that kids are interested and would love to come here. Um, now with the success, some kids are a little bit shied away that are they going to be able to play here? You know, so that's that's the recruiting tactics that other people are using and trying to use against us that, you know, you're going to go there and not going to play or you're going to redshirt. You're good. Don't lose so much in the hill. You can run by him. It doesn't get any easier necessarily because the second we're on a guy, that means other schools are going to be on them too. And so it's not, you know, there's no more of the, we're going to sneak in and get this kid because we really like him uh, with the social media presence. And as soon as a kid posts out there that he got an offer or, or visited Iowa Western, you know, there's uh, numerous other schools that are going to hit him up. And as always, it's hit or miss when it comes to recruiting. But Iowa Western, with six 10-win seasons in the first decade of the program, has had more hits than misses.